Hi guys. While observing certain organisms under the microscope, I found this. And I think that you have studied this organism more often than any other microscopic organism. Yes guys, it is the irregular shaped amoeba. But did you know that there is a large number of organisms with the same characteristics as that of an amoeba? And guys, these organisms are collectively studied under the category amoeboid protozoans. And these amoeboid protozoans are the members of class Sarcodina or Rhizopoda. So let us now study the general characters of the class Sarcodina. The amoeboid protozoans are irregularly shaped. But can you guess their secret to this irregular shape? Well, these guys, I mean the amoeboid protozoans do not have a pellicle. Wait, we know what is a pellicle, right? It is the thin outermost layer which help the protists to maintain their shape. And absence of pellicle in the amoeboid protozoans contributes to their irregular shaped body. And guys, these organisms have another intriguing feature, which is they can be either uninucleate or multinucleate. Did you see that? The amoeba is moving. But wait, the position of its feet seems to be changing. What is it? A microbone wheels? I guess we need to look into this phenomenon in detail. Well guys, these continuously changing feet are their false feet, scientifically termed as pseudopodia. And a pseudopodium is nothing but cytoplasmic extension which helps in the locomotion and feeding. Guys, let me tell you that the pseudopodia exhibit variety in their shape and form. Let us see how. What you see here are the different organisms with pseudopodia. But if you look closer, all of these organisms have different pseudopodia. Now, if we group these organisms based on the shape and form of their pseudopodia, we will have these four groups. Now, if I consider the first group, the pseudopodia are blunt and broad, known as lobopodia. And the second group has pseudopodia which are sharp and pointed but with axial support, known as exopodia. And this third group has pseudopodia which are narrow thread-like and branched. Also, they form network, known as reticulopodia. And this fourth group has fine thread-like sharp and pointed pseudopodia known as philopodia. Now, you must be wondering what is the difference between exopodia and philopodia? Well, the philopodia do not have the axial support unlike the exopodia. So, we studied about the different types of pseudopodia. Now, let us talk about the different groups, all to be precise, different orders of the class Sarcodina. Yes, guys, on the basis of different types of pseudopodia, the class Sarcodina is further classified into four orders, namely Lobosa, Foraminifera, Heliozoa and Radiolaria. We will study all these orders one by one, beginning with the order Lobosa first. And guys, the order Lobosa has three important members, namely Amoeba, Giant Amoeba, and ant amoeba. We will first talk about the most common example that is amoeba. Guys, amoeba was discovered by Russell von Rosenhoff in the year 1755. Let us now enlist some general characteristics of amoeba. The zoological name of amoeba is amoeba proteus and it is found in fresh water. And guys, just like all the other freshwater protozoan, amoeba also has contractile vacuole, which helps in osmoregulation. And since it is the member of order Lobosa, the locomotion occurs through Lobopodia, which is the blunt and broad pseudopodia. Now guys, our most commonly studied protozoan has a very special kind of cytoplasm, which has two regions the outer fine region known as ectoplasm and the inner granular region 
known as endoplasm now this endoplasm further occurs in two phases the outer gel phase and the inner sol phase do you want to know how exactly these pseudopodia are formed well guys the complex terms that we saw just now actually help in the formation of pseudopodia and the entire process of formation of pseudopodia can be summed up into three simple steps first of all the amoeba gets attached to a solid surface which we refer to as substratum and now the plasma sol of the pseudopodia forming region starts to gelatinize forming the region of gelation in simple words the plasma sol of the pseudopodia forming region gets converted into plasma gel and now the plasma gel of the opposite ends starts getting converted into plasma sol and it pushes the actual plasma sol into the forwarding direction and this push into the forwarding direction leads to the formation of pseudopodia wow i'm really amazed by the mechanism these organisms have for their locomotion only locomotion no guys as we discussed the pseudopodia are also used for feeding let us see how guys the amoeba is omnivorous that is it feeds on every solid particle whether it be a bacteria a small protist or even solid organic matter in simple words amoeba follows the holozoic mode of nutrition and the process involved is phagocytosis so what happens in this process well guys the pseudopodia entraps the food particle and a vacuole is formed around it known as food vacuole now this structure is known as phagosome you must be wondering that till now you have studied that the digestion in amoeba takes place inside the food vacuole well guys this phagosome is nothing but a modified version of food vacuole now this phagosome fuses with the lysosome present inside the amoeba and this newly formed structure is known as phagolysosome now the lytic enzymes present inside the lysosome carries out the digestion of the food particle the nutrients formed as a result of digestion diffuse out in the cytoplasm and the waste material is expelled out of the cell i must say the way amoeba performs its life processes is really sophisticated and commendable and i'm sure that you guys will also agree with me now you must be thinking how the complex processes like reproduction will take place let me assure you guys that the process of reproduction is also very basic in case of amoeba as amoeba reproduces asexually only it is known to reproduce every 24 hours by the process of binary fission and this happens under the favorable conditions only so what about the unfavorable conditions well guys under unfavorable conditions spore formation cyst formation and multiple fission are the modes of reproduction utilized so guys in this session we have discussed the general characteristics of amoeboid protozoans their classification order lobosa and its first member that is amoeba and we will discuss its remaining members that is giant amoeba and ant amoeba in our upcoming videos with this let us summarize this session amoeboid protozoans are basically the member of class sarcodina or rhizopoda they do not have a pellicle and hence they are irregularly shaped they are known to move and feed by the help of pseudopodia pseudopodia on the basis of their shape and position are of four types lobopodia reticulopodia exopodia and philopodia on the basis of different types of pseudopodia the class sarcodina is further classified into four orders namely lobosa heliozoa foraminifera and radiolaria amoeba giant amoeba and ant amoeba 
are three important members of order Lobosa. Amoeba is a freshwater protozoan and shows movement by the help of Lobopodia. The Lobopodia formation in Amoeba takes place due to interconversion of plasma gel and plasma sol. Amoeba is known to follow holozoic mode of nutrition and the process involved is phagocytosis. Amoeba reproduces asexually only. Under the favorable conditions, the mode of reproduction utilized is binary fission. Whereas, during the unfavorable conditions, multiple fission, spore formation and cyst formation are the modes of reproduction utilized by amoeba.